Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the final video of Triple Grace for today. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is preparing the world for the upcoming battles. Brothers and sisters, it is time to prepare the world because the battles are ahead. How do we do that? Let's have a look at an army. An army will not be sent into war if the armory is not fully equipped. And an army will not be sent to war if the resources are not available for a prolonged battle. And also an army is not going to war if it does not have a place from where it, where it resides, from where it will come forth. In the old time it was the army camp and in the new modern time are the barracks. But also in the planning for every battle there is a place of retreat, a place of safety put forth. So in any case the battle goes wrong that the army can retreat to this place and to be safe. So none of this is yet ready. The Lord has put us forth the war chest, but the war chest's resources are not filled yet. It is not filled. So there are not enough resources for a prolonged battle. The heavenly armor is available, the armory is ready with the sword of light and the armor of God, that is ready, but the resources are not. And also the retreat places, the safe havens are just in the beginning now. So brothers and sisters, we are called now in this final part to prepare the world for the upcoming battles. And that means we need to fill the war chest. We need to come together and to bring all the resources that we can to fill it up so that we then have enough resources for a prolonged battle and also to bring forth the safe haven. That's the reason why I have made that video yesterday and tell you this will be one of the retreating places after the harvest is done, so that the harvest will not get lost, but it needs to be built, it needs to be made, it needs to be ready. This is now the time for the preparing of the world. I have told you that the first seven years was a spiritual development and this has come to an end. You have received all the revelation, all the knowledge and everything. And new Zion was created during this time frame. The spiritual side is ready. That's the reason why the armor of God, the spiritual armor is also ready. But now we have to prepare in the final move, the world. Preparing the world now. So that we can move to different alternative and, and, and dimension and realities of this world and that we always have a safe haven and that we always have, a, have enough in our war chest and that we have enough in our armory so that we can stand everywhere. That's the reason why you are called now to prepare the world with the safe havens and to fill the war chest. It is absolutely mandatory to fill it up, to, to have all the resources. The Lord will help. He will grant blessings. He will grant Windfalls, he will grant all this, but if you receive such of a thing, a blessing and a windfall, then don't forget to fill the war chest, it must be filled to the brim, so that we are ready for our destiny and purpose. As I have told you, it is not only spiritual, the churches always claim everything is only spiritual, what is not the case? Jesus Christ himself was a great example that is not true what they say because he was spiritual and physical when he was on earth. The same what is coming to happen right now during, during the sealed tribulation. Therefore, we must also prepare the physical side. We must come together in unity. We must fill the watches. We must build the safe havens. This is a requirement so that we will be successful. And the safe haven is also the start of the foundation laid for the Millennium Kingdom. Preparing the world is this step. That requires action. That requires to step forward now. That requires knowing that you are spiritually built, that you are ready from this heavenly side, 
now preparing the world, and then the battles will start. So be part of it. The links, I will put them again in the first pin comment, war chest, and also for the safe haven. Let us build it up. Let us fill the war chest. Step forward. This is a moment when you show commitment. This is a moment when the warriors are coming together. This is a preparation of the world for the upcoming battles. And you all want to be part of the Sons of Light and not to have anything to do with the Sons of Darkness. The Lord will help. He will provide you with blessings and with windfalls and with whatever is coming your way. Do not forget when this happened to fill the war chest and to be part of it. You do not have to give it all, brothers and sisters, but you do should not forget that it's a requirement that we prepare the world now. An army without enough resources will fail on the battlefield. An army without a place of retreat will be slaughtered by the enemy. So we need the safe havens and we need to fill the war chest. This is mandatory. This is the reason why the Lord has taken us spiritually now into the 2-2-2 two -two -two season so that we can develop physically now. For the, I believe the first quarter of this year and then everything will come to pass because I know we can manage it and the Lord will help so that we will be ready with a filled war chest and with a safe haven ready as a retreat base. And also don't forget, don't forget the vision of io.earth.de where the Lord showed us clearly that the dwelling places of Zion are established on earth and that they are also a base for the warriors and that from there also a selection will be made for the warriors to be sent on the battlefield. So it is like a command center on earth. If it's my safe haven that will be a command center on earth here in Cambodia or any other in the world or several of them who are connected together but it will serve as a command center also where there is the connection between the commander in chief residing in New Zion with the, with the safe haven on earth and the commands will come down onto the earth as it was with Elijah on Mount Carmel when fire will fall, was falling from heaven and everything changed and then these people who were standing around the altar were able to go to battle and to slaughter 800 fake priests of Jezebel that was a battle because fire fall from heaven through a restored altar that we will do in the safe haven so it is already mandatory, you see. Now it's the preparation of the world where we are inside. So let us step forward. The spiritual side is finished. It was a long time spiritually to be emerged and to finish because it is a, it was very difficult to understand with a lot of revelation from the Lord. The physical preparation is easier to, to, to do. It's just a coming together and the Lord will help his resources so that we can fill the war chest and build and have the safe havens in the world. Brothers and sisters, this is a time of preparing the world for the great battles. Let the army of the Lord step forward with all the resources, with the filled war chest, and also with the place that they can retreat to when need is arriving. This is a time for us to come together in unity. This is the time to build the army, the remnant army of New Zion. And the Lord will be on our side. He will take our hands and he will give us blessing so that we can do it, that we can bring forth the safe havens and fill the war chest. So be part of it, brothers and sisters. You are called now into your destiny. Actions are required. This is a moment that you were longing for. Now fulfill your destiny and purpose and step forward. The links are in the first pin comment. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.